DOCX are the PDF so let's download it in the form of DOCX so as here you can see now our draft has that basic all the information so it will help you to cut your time short if you are new on welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will review answer this dot io ai tool and as you can see this ai tool can create comprehensive literature reviews in second and it can find research gaps and similarly it can also generate good research proposal in seconds so what you need if you are new user you can directly go to sign up and you can use your google account and as i already have created my account so i will directly go with sign in so you can see once you will be signing it will land you on this page there are the different features you can do literature reviews and here are the different guides and tutorial like how you can do literature review how you can chat with pdf and how you can create citation map and uh, how you can create diagrams and how you can search papers and how you can organize your library and how you can use ai writer uh, for your research papers so uh, today we will be testing and spending more of our time on literature review so let's test this feature uh, of literature review so for this i have shortlisted my this review paper although this is a bit older like I have published in 2018 so you can see in this I have this title current advances in molecular basis and mechanism regulating leaf morphology so as here you can see uh, you can have a look on the headings and then we will be asking the same uh, from this AI tool so as here you can see first i have given introduction then i have given bully form cells clearance chimer cells cuticle development microRNAs, then role of genes in controlling leaf size number of veins cell divisions phytohormones and then we have conclusion and here i have drawn one hypothetical model so uh, let's go and ask him if it can help us to create one review paper outline or one review paper draft using this literature review so we can enter our search query what are the molecular basis and mechanism regulating leaf morphology yeah so we can click on this so once you will click on this search option so you can see here it will ask you to it will ask you to choose the filter whether you want structured literature reviews and but if you will choose dynamic research answer it will also give you additionally different research question and research gaps as well so i will prefer dynamic research assistant and here uh, you can choose minimum number of citations from which you want to get the data and I want at least maybe five to ten citations of that paper from which it should get our information then we have turbo mode whether you want to choose only research papers uh, or you also want to include the web searches so I also want to include only research paper so i will go with the default and from here even you can select the journal quality which is very good feature and i think only this tool gave us the independence to choose this feature so for this example maybe we can go with uh, like the all and now we can choose the start date of publication so maybe for this can write manually and uh, then we can double check the citations so it will increase the processing time but will improve the citation accuracy so uh, it will take maybe let's see uh, how long so you can see it has started to analyze
yeah so it's done you can see we get our what are the molecular bases and the mechanism regulating leaf morphology so as here you can see we get a comprehensive draft like you can see we got introduction then we have genetic control then we have key regulatory transcription factors you can see even the wox genes and hd zip transcription factors it has categorized now it has also categorized hormone signaling pathways and then micro rnas which is almost uh, the similar content which I have shown you at this page and uh, you can see the molecular mechanism of leaf morphogenesis and it has also created a uh, few data from other resources as well you can see even it has gone to the next extent and uh, added a few more relevant data as well and as here you can see uh, it has also generated the citations and uh, from here you can also change the citation style so let me see how many citation it has gathered so far so it has gathered 30 citations and if i can see the citations and i want to see my paper you can see the paper which i have published in 2018 because this was the exact to the topic and even one more is also exact to the topic so it has ranked my paper at number two and the good thing about that uh, now you can directly uh, download this draft in the form of docx or the pdf so let's download it in the form of docx so as here you can see now our draft has that basic all the information so it will help you to cut your time short if you are new on any topic and uh, you can generate your research proposal or literature reviews in hours rather than weeks and uh, now uh, one thing we can test this feature let's suppose if we want to chat with this paper and if we have any further question and we can ask follow-up question related to this maybe we can directly chat with this paper so you can see it has started to process the selected papers so it will help you to open its PDF so you can see its PDF is available so we can ask like uh, summarize the main findings of this review paper so we can ask this question so you can see it has started to think so you can see here are the main findings of this paper so it has created a good summary of this and even it has listed all the genes which were given in the table and their function as well and maybe now we can superficially explore the other features like here you can see here we have guides and ai writer in this ai writer feature you can create maybe any new document and uh, you can ask to suggest the number of headings like and you can see even the same feature we have the citations as well and uh, if you want uh, to add them to library you can add them to library and here are the different projects if you want to create on the different topics here you can do citation map and here are the different diagrams so if you want to create any flow chart or any state diagram on any topic so we will explore this these feature later on so now let's jump into its pricing so as here you can see the current free plan is just zero dollar per month which means you don't need to pay anything and still they will give you five credits and your search will be limited up to three references but still you will get line by line citations and still you can use ai writer and of course everything would be limited 
and uh, but if you want to go with everything unlimited and you want to choose pro plan so you are free to buy a monthly or annual plan and monthly plan is 35 dollar per month which i think is a little bit costly but if you switch to annual plan you can save 65 percent which is almost 12 dollar per month and still if you want to use uh, my discount code asif 15 all is capital a s i f 15 and my referral link is given in the video description so you can directly use the at rc15 uh, to get 15 percent discount even in this so so hopefully this would be a good tool for your research if you have any question related to this please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye